guys, how you doing? Give a lizard here. And as you guessed it from the title of this video, this will be a video explaining the percussive aspect on the guitar in my most viewed video, El Pero Mubero. Throughout the years that I had that video online, thousands of people asked me how to get the percussive on the wood of the guitar. So I'm going to do now a little bit play of the muted way of playing with the strings muted and then going into the rhythm so you guys see it. And then I promise you I'll break it down like there's no tomorrow. With some practice we can all do it. So it sounds something like this. started by playing something, let me turn the camera a little bit, something very simple, just mute the strings with your left hand, don't press down too hard, just let them be dead sound, like this, just like that, and don't play over the whole of the guitar, you want to move here, right where the fretboard is sticking out, and this is what's going to help us do all the percussive hits along with the tapa with the wood here. So. This is important, this is important. Now, if I lift the guitar strings up and I place my thumb somewhere there and I put some pressure and I slide, that's gonna do a sound, right? Hitting on the top of the guitar. Try to get that sound. Quite easy, yeah? Try not to bend the finger, just keep it back bend. And go down, go down. Now, mute the strings and try to do the same. You're gonna hear a little bit of a roll first on the strings but you will end up hearing the hit at the end. Don't worry if it comes too short, too high. That's, as fast as you go, the smaller the distance you'll be hitting. The slower it is, most probably you go more down. So that's the first hit. Now the second hit is a little bit more difficult. So I thought we added a little circle action. As we go down, circle the guitar up. Now the nail, this is the hard part, the back of the nail comes in contact with the fretboard. I hope you can hear it. I left the guitar unplugged so you can see that it's still very loud even if it's not plugged. So the first one, try to get a hit there. One, two. Now for me it's getting easier to come up and also hit some of the strings as I do it. So I'll take some force, I'll do it as slow as possible. And I have a percussive hit and also strum the guitar upwards. It's going to be painful if you haven't practiced flamenco before or playing it uh, on uh, steel strings. Uh, you don't want to try this on steel strings, especially if you don't have very, very hard nails and very hard skin. Now the skin is going to start feeling some pain here, so it's a procedure that might take longer. But not to learn, but you don't want to do it for two hours and end up bleeding and then recovering for a month. You want to do it three, four minutes a day and do it after a day or two, come back to it, your fingers, your skin will get stronger, let them heal, and you'll be able to do it. And try to get a circular action so it helps your nail from getting stuck here. Okay, so that's hit one, that's hit two. Now we've got three and four. The third one, the index sticking out under here, I'll twist the wrist and I'll do the same as I did with the nail here. I will strum the guitar, and I will press down so hard that I'm going to skip from the fretboard wood with the back of the index nail on the top. I can make it quite a loud sound. You can relax the whole hand and just try this. Usually we might be used to straightening it out the fingers, but here we want to keep it bent. Pull up the strings and try it without them to get the percussive. Putting them together, practice with me, and 
coming back up again, we're gonna add the thumb as we did before. But the fourth time around, when you come up with the thumb, try to open up and put your fingers down. You can do a hit if you like, but maybe that takes longer, so sometimes I add, put the fingers, or I hit this part of the hand only, or I go with the whole thing. It makes a difference. Or, or, especially if it's over the soundboard, you want to do the big hand. But here for starting, one, two, three, four, hit. Again, one, two, three, four, hit. Now, the easier way to get out of this is go up with the index, down with the index. No percussive hit. So we had our four. You can lift your hand up if you like and do the index or keep them there if it's easier. And then you start from the beginning. pattern I'll finish up the lesson by showing the chords I did here keep in mind my guitar is dropped a half a tone down so if this is an E if you go backwards on the scale you have a D sharp um, and then if this is a B if you go backwards you've got an A sharp and so on and so on just a half a tone um, it's an A minor on the bar that will be your index on the fifth fret barring everything your ring finger on the 7th fret on the middle bass and your pinky on the 7th fret next to it on the 3rd bass on the 4th string counting from down up so we've got an A minor there now you want to lift the strings up, not press down so you have a dead sound but still keep the shape of the A minor so if you press down it's easy keep it muted and you start playing the pattern muted to break it down completely one two three four right when you do that fourth up you want to have pressed down on the chord and lift up again for the hit so practice only this putting it together fast and it's like fractions of a second but in the pattern it's exactly there where it's happening so I do this maybe twice then I move more up and I, I don't press down again I keep my finger soft on a G that's the same as the A minor shape but we were moving from there two frets up placing the middle finger the badass finger touching on the third string on the fourth fret and you do the same technique where you go muted down muted up muted down and you press and release. Try to do it slow and see that it stops, then faster. Hit papa. So we have. Just with the same shape now, the same procedure, two frets up, don't change nothing in the fingerings. You might be getting a little bit more sound here because you're closing the bridge and then right back on the E everything will be clean. If you do the same pattern, you have the percussive hit, the rhythm, and some of the melody if you follow the Alperon Mubero lesson. A minor, G7, F major, G7. That's all in the lesson as well. And I'll put a little last detail on the side. You can finish the pattern after the hit, one, two, three, four, hit. Instead of a double, by doing up and down, you can add a triple. And that is when I was playing faster, that's what it gave that feeling that not only I play faster, I added one more beat in between. So you will do one, two, three, four, hit. But when you go up, you're gonna curve in the fingers like this. Yeah. And come down with the index. But the difference is because you came down with the index and the thumb because it was connected, you can come back up with the thumb. And you have a triple hit instead of index, index. So, and you can start from the beginning. You see with the double, if 
feels like it's stopping the pattern. Triple. It continues. Well, because these are my techniques, it was uh, quite difficult to figure out how to break it down, and I'm sure maybe some of you can relate to what I'm going to say, but back then, I wasn't able to uh, break down something as much, but with practice and more understanding of what's happening in the fractions of the second and uh, making more slow practice, letting your muscles realize what they do, you guys can do it and you can also realize uh, in years ahead the technique even further and keep on improving it. If you like to post a video or a video reply or on Facebook where there's only Kizar friends there and the, the help and support is always there from everybody guys. Don't let yourself hold back, put up a video, share it with your friends because music is really nothing if you don't share it with somebody. Thank you for watching, God bless. The next video will be Malagueña, five minute long. God bless.